Hi guys, welcome back. Let's wrap a cloth around a spline or this circular path in Cinema 4D. Looks cool, doesn't it? Where this cloth is going round and round just like this. Let's create one. To do this, create a spline or the path. Hold the left click button, head over to helix. Afterwards, you go to coordinates and then you rotate it like 90 degrees. And then all you do is to go to objects and then just increase the radius, something like that. And then you even increase the height to this, for example. And then you increase the size by clicking on scale tool. Just like this. Pretty fancy. Alright, we're done creating the path. And now let's create the cloth. So, uh, hold the left click button here and then head over to plane which is the material for the cloth and then you can even increase the the width and the height just like this go to display lines and then you can even increase the width segments and the height segments to this for example and then when you're done hold the left click button here and then you head over to spline wrap this will wrap an object around this spline, which is the path. So uh, we're going to wrap this plane that, that will act as the cloth around this spline path. Around this spline or around the path. So uh, all we have to do is to drag the spline wrap effect into the plane. But first, right click on the plane, and then click on contact objects and delete, and then go to display, go back to broad shading, just like this. Hold on. Whoops. Right click on the plane, click on contact objects and delete, and then drag the spline wrap into the plane object. And then afterwards, you go to spline wrap, and then drag the helix, which is the spline or the path, into this one. Now the shape of the cloth is twirling just like this, according to the spline or the path. So uh, let's animate this. But first, let's change the shape of the cloth by uh, right-clicking on the this uh, graph and then head over to spline presets and then you head over to cubic and then you simply do it like this and then delete this one drag it downward so that there are these pointy ends to the cloth just like this and then all you do is to shorten it down to this for example and then you just do some animations make it slightly longer and then you change the offset so that it starts from here and then make keyframes to animate the cloth. Click on the diamond at zero frame and then let's say if we end it at 300 frames drag the offset slider and then once it stops moving click on the diamond again. Fancy now the cloth is animated. Let's add some cloth material into the plane. Right click on the plane, head over to simulation tags, and then click on cloth, just like this. Go to uh, mix animation, and then tick the boxes for with force and follow shape, just like this. And then go to mode, project, simulation, scene, and then Set the gravity number to zero, just like this. And then go back to the plane object. And then we're going to go back to the cloth expression and then go to cache and then click on calculate cache so that the preview of the cloth animation is smoother. It will take a moment. All right, we're done. So let's play the preview. Fine. Now the cloth has wrinkles. So let's smoothen the wrinkles by clicking on the subdivision surface 
object and then drag the plane into subdivision surface and then let's add some turbulence go to simulate forces and then turbulence just like this and then place it somewhere here so that the movement of the cloth is unstable and it will be flying away just a bit let's play the preview again fancy now the cloth looks wrinkly and then it goes round and round following the spline or the path just like that so uh, that's how you can wrap a cloth around a spline or a path so that you can create this cool motion and texture for the cloth here in Cinema 4D so uh, it will do so well for your animations and you can put this cloth as part of your advertisements for example advertisements of beauty products that involve these cloths thank you for watching guys give it a like comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel but for me it's good day ciao